Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Moran and this is the place where I usually share my crochet objet knitting journey. Recently, this has been the place where I share my journey as a maker during the war days in Israel. So first, before we start, I just want to thank you for sticking around. I know this is not the content you originally came for and I'm very thankful for you being here. Today is Wednesday, November 22nd. It's almost 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. It's a lot later than what I usually record. Um, today I thought hundreds of times if to skip this episode or if to like get myself into the sitting in front of the camera mode. Um, yesterday I uploaded a new socks pattern to both my Etsy and Ravelry stores. I finally uploaded the Lila socks pattern um, and I wanted to share it with you together with a vlog that I made um, earlier this week. But yesterday evening, there were news coming in regarding a deal that is that got closed to bring part of our kids and women hostages back from Gaza, back from Hamas. We all know that the next few days are going to be really tough. Um, we all know it's a deal with the dev devil and um, we all, I think, we all feel the same. I personally feel that this nightmare, I, I don't see the end of this nightmare. I feel very, very heavy and I thought, how on earth will I sit in front of the camera and talk about a new pattern I published? Usually, publishing a new pattern is a little celebration or a huge celebration you know to add a new pattern to the collection and for me to add a sock pattern it's really a special thing but I cannot feel the excitement I cannot feel the same excitement as always as in usual times and I really really want to be back in these exciting feelings back again to have them and to to be able to share a new pattern with this the happiness and the joy that it brings um yeah so it made me think hundreds of times if to sit and record um an episode today and this is why it's it's later than what i usually um, record but yeah, yesterday I spent quite a lot of hours uh, uploading and um, replacing a new picture in uh, one of the front pictures on the PDF file, uploading the pictures to Etsy and Ravelry with all the details. Um, and yeah, I wanted to come here and, you know, share all the details about this new socks pattern. And, and I also will share a vlog part in this episode with a, a vlog that I recorded earlier this week. So let's go, go through the Lila Socks details. Um, I think it's a pattern, it's ready to be published quite a while. Um, and I just didn't have the right mood to put it in and I didn't feel like publishing a new pattern and then I thought I want to replace one of the pictures in the front page um, but yeah yesterday I finally published it I hope I will um, publish it on Instagram and Facebook and over on my blog later this week But this is the new sock pattern. So the Lila sock pattern is just a little bit of a lace work and then the lace work um, on, on the cuff section and then it 
it's just a plain vanilla stock. So it's a really, really simple pattern. This one, this was the original pair I knitted. Uh, and I knitted all the three pairs using the same yarn as recommended in the pattern. The Aweta by Phil Colana. It's 80% wool and 20% nylon. Um, this was the original pair that I knitted. Uh, I think this has the 56 stitches. You have two sizes in the pattern. Um, the small size is with 56 stitches and um, the second size is for 64 stitches. So I knitted them like I knit all my, most of my socks on a nine inch circular size 2.25 US 1, I think. Um, and yeah, you just cast on the number of stitches that you, the, with the size that you choose. And then you knit for a few rounds. You just knit, knit, knit. And this what creates this uh, rolled edge. And then you purl one round and then you work this uh, lace section, which is just knit two together and yarn over. And then you create this diamond shape, which is also a very simple lace work really a basic lace work and and after this short lace adventure you simply continue to knit just a plain vanilla sock so the pattern tells you to knit just the socking it in knitting the round until you get to the length and and then you can start knit the heel flap the heel flap is just the normal or the standard slip one, knit one, heel flap. But you can also choose to make them long or as short or as long as you want. After I knitted this pair, which is a little bit longer, I knitted this one, which is a little bit shorter. And then I knitted the third pair just because I'm so in love with this pattern, with this diamond shape. And I really, really like the roll, uh, rolled edge. And then I knitted this, which is, I think, a little shorter than the original, or maybe it's the same. Maybe it's the same. Anyway, uh, this is the new Lila Socks pattern and it is now available on Etsy and on Ravelry. And I really, really hope you will enjoy them. So if you never knitted lace before, I think it's a nice uh, pattern to start with. It's a very simple lace work. And you can knit them using any fingering weight yarn. And, and yeah, I did uh, replace the one of the pictures on the front on the front page, one of the front page pictures. I worked on it quite a while this week. Um, and the pattern, the PDF file, is now uploaded to both Etsy and Ravelry. And I think this is everything I wanted to share regarding my Lila socks, my new socks pattern. This is the third, I think it's the third, no, let me check. It's the fourth socks pattern that I publish. I really, really like the color combination of these three. So yeah. This is the Lila Socks pattern. I hope I didn't forget to share anything. I know for sure my head is not in the right place it needs to be for sharing a new pattern. I'm sorry about that. If I did forget something, if you do, if you have a question or if you think about something I forgot to mention, please, please, please share it as a, share your question uh, as a comment down here. Um, 
down below in the description box. I will leave the pattern also down below in the description box for you. This is it for today. I hope you will enjoy the vlog section and I will see you on the next one. Bye! So usually I spend a little bit more like extra time tidying up my uh, our home usually after the weekend and that we spend all of us time together last weekend we spent quite some time indoors and in general during the war days we are more indoors than outdoors and uh, this weekend we had a birthday we celebrated Uri our second boy our second child celebrated 16 we made you know a special dinner for him on Friday evening and on the preparations while we make up the birthday table for him um, there were uh, rockets coming he coming in so we into our area so we had to spend some time in the staircase with our nice neighbors which were most of them were in the same position just like us preparing dinner friday dinner is uh, for jewish people it's like you know friday dinner it's for the family it's more like a festive dinner so yeah this morning i spent some time extra time tidying up and um, i had a short workout which i'm very very happy with uh, I spent some time in the kitchen. I started preparing the lunch. I will be with two, with two, the two boys this today for lunch, and my father will might come visit us later. Uh, so I started to prepare the lunch, but uh, I also put some nuts in the air fryer. So usually I offer the, um, them in the snacks. Uh, you know for the mondays club and the neat night club and i think later i will have to go again to the kitchen and spend some time um, finishing preparing the lunch i think during the weekend i had quite some time to knit which i'm very very happy uh, with it it really helps me you know really really helps me uh, these days um yeah today I, I i just came into the studio and today i plan to i have some more packing you, can you see your last kits stripes and colors and kiss kits and over the moon kits are already be packed uh, at the back there but these are the last kits that will be sent tomorrow morning i hope if everything goes as planned and I also plan to this morning I plan to make some take a photo of the lila socks pattern which I really really want to publish the lila socks are is it it's already a pattern um, it's already done it was tested it was edited I needed three socks three pairs and the Monday girls needed them and I think also two ladies from the neat night um, but I, I have one more thing to do, which I am procrastinating for quite a while. I am not very happy with one of the pictures, this one, on the front page of the pattern. So I will try to take pictures today. Uh, it's, uh, it's rainy. We, we, have, we have heavy rain this morning and it's a little bit dark for, you know, a shooting day. So... I guess it will be lighter later, maybe the, the sun will come out and I will be able to take 
some pictures, nice pictures, and to finally publish my Lila Socks pattern. I hope I will be able to publish it this week. Let's see how it works. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now. It's really strange because usually I'm a very big rain lover and I can sit for hours in front of the window when it rains, knit in front of the window when it rains or, you know, I really, really enjoy the rain. I really love it. And today it's a little bit different because the the, the noises of the you know, the tandem, I think, tandem storms are, it sounds like the bombs from the rocket, so it's all mixed up, and I felt scared when it happened earlier, so, yeah, not very nice, uh, and for me, I really, really a rain lover, I really love rain, and we don't have a lot of rain days in is rainy days in Israel, so I really appreciate each and every moment of rain here. Um, but yeah, this I think, I guess for this winter it will be different for me. Yeah. Anyways, I will start to uh, organize the packing a little bit, and when it the sun will come out, I will. Maybe I will be able to take a nice picture for my Lila stock. I also took some footage for you from the Neat Night Girls. We met on Friday morning. Yeah, we had a lovely, lovely Neat Night uh, together. Yeah, we enjoyed our time together. And, uh, it, you know, it's a nice start for the weekend for all of us. And in general, we all feel very lucky to be able to meet and knit together during these days especially. I picked some clementines out of my studio garden, out of the tree, and I put it on the snack table, snacks table, and uh, yeah. So it's almost 2 p.m. and I'm almost done with the packing, and these packages will go either tomorrow morning or the morning after. Uh, I think I'm sold out um, of the kiss blanket kit so you can you know you can have the pattern but uh, the kit I think uh, the yarn pack I think is uh, sold out but not hundred percent sure but I think and from the kiss from the stripes and colors blanket I think I still have one or two kits available over the moon blanket I have only one kit available in stock um, one kit in the black option, the jet black option, and one kit in the dark green, the ebony, I think ebony color. I took a few, a few pictures of the lila sock pattern and I hope I will manage to somehow to use them, but I'm not sure. It's, it's really too dark and gloomy. I don't have enough light for, you know, to, to get a decent, um, front page photo and yeah and for those of you who I just finished uh, answering a few Etsy conversations you left me and you are asking about the cotton if I'm like not going to sell any more cotton so uh, I had a lot of questions about if you can choose your colors and maybe purchase what I have in stock so yes I answered all of you, but I thought to open the camera again and tell you here that yes, I do have quite a few colors in stock. If you like, you can contact me via Etsy conversation. I have a 14 balls option and a 24 balls option. So if you like, you can contact me. I will tell you what colors are in stock at the moment, uh, what colors I still have in stock, and you can maybe choose colors from there and I will be happy to send them to you. So yeah, now I will go to back to the kitchen and continue preparing lunch because one of the boys is here already and one of the boys is on its way here.
and now everything is set for the Monday's club and I'm ready I just have to uh, boil the water and make the fresh herb tea and um, usually they arrive at 10 about 10 so I have just like I think 20 minutes before they arrive and um, this morning Ayal went out very very early today he is um, he went to volunteer in a strawberry picking uh, with a farmer that uh, lost a lot of his um, workers or I don't know anyway they uh, his work the, the, the place he works with arranged uh, they are they have a lot of many kinds of volunteering options and today Eya left very very early to drive to the center of Israel to pick strawberries. So this is why he couldn't take your packages today to the post office but I hope he will do that uh, tomorrow morning. So your packages are still here and yet yeah, it's still very rainy today just like yesterday so let's hope he will not come back uh, <laughs> wet but if yes it's okay that's also a working he will experience a farmer a working day yesterday evening we cooked together until uh, quite late I think usually we don't cook that late but um, yesterday they were coming some terrible news all kind of news and um, also about a 19 year old um, girl that got murdered inside Gaza after being kidnapped she was um, kept in a you know she she brought into the Shifa hospital and then they moved her to Hamas apartment I don't know and then there they uh, murdered her and the soldiers uh, found her body Israeli soldiers found her body so she was one of the kidnapped or hostages there so the news were terrible and unfortunately we were stuck uh, with the news all during the whole evening I was sitting next to the news waiting for Eyal to come and then we started to cook together because I just want to plan ahead and to it will make my life easier uh, during the week if if I cook in advance so today uh, for lunch and I I guess for tomorrow as well I'm set um, yeah so now I will go to make a fresh tea for the girls and if I have a few minutes I will sit to read your lovely comments on the last uh, on my last episode I already read a few and they are so so nice and lovely and I'm trying to read it, each and every one of them I'm not I will not be able to respond although you deserve a personal response but I will not be able to put that time to respond respond to each and every one of you anyway I will sit and read I'm reading every I usually read, read every comment on the blog on my youtube on dm on instagram the only place i don't manage messages is in my facebook uh, page on kosher object facebook page this is too it's too complicated for me it's too full and I, I i lost control over there so i don't get in the facebook messages um, feature so just uh, to update you about that yeah, so I hope we will meet. If if I can, we will meet later today. If not, I will pick. I will open the camera whenever. So it's 1.20, the girls, Monday girls left, 
last we had a lovely lovely meeting together uh, it was a lovely chatty meeting today we tried to like limit the talk you know about all the sad uh, things that are coming every second but uh, we did like naturally we always want to speak only about that but we tried today to limit ourselves and we had some lovely talks um, I shared uh, you know a lip mask that I discovered I, I purchased on our last visit to Poland I shared it with them I, I really enjoy it I think it's Laneige lip sleeping mask uh, you know we try to also speak about regular usual casual things and you know be normal we all t we all want normal life so yeah we try to limit the talks about dead soldiers dead victims uh, kids that got hurt but it's not easy to skip this talk so anyway they left and i reorganized the studio put everything back to place and uh, took care of you know all the little things and now i am off to take care of my boys and uh, make sure they have a decent lunch i cooked quite until late yesterday evening and i'm all set they will eat um, meatballs in a, like a, tomato sauce or something like that with uh, beef bro bone broth uh, in it and rice uh, and yeah I'm not sure I will sit with them to for lunch today uh, I usually eat most of the days I eat one meal a day it's I find it it is the best thing for me um, uh, sometimes I eat two meals a day but usually I only eat one meal a day and I'm not sure when will it be today uh, so yeah but I do plan to sit and have some knitting time I have one more kit to pack from yesterday's uh, night orders uh, so I'll go ahead and pack this kit I think it was the stripes and colors kit uh, this one so I'll pack it and then I will sit and knit and I might take you along with me quarter to four almost quarter to four now and I'm back in the studio I finished packing these packages will go out tomorrow morning and I had lunch the boys had lunch we all enjoyed it they loved the meatballs we made for them last night and now I have I think like quarter of an hour or maybe 20 minutes that I can sit and knit and continue watching Kate from The Last Homely House on YouTube. I started watching her last episode, latest episode, uh, earlier in the morning because they are left very early this morning for his, um, for the um, strawberry picking when he volunteered. Um, I had time for myself this morning and I had coffee with only myself usually usually we have coffee the first coffee of the day together so I was watching Kate in the morning but I couldn't finish the episode so I will now continue watching it I think I have 20 minutes left for the episode and it will be exactly what I have for before I have to drive our youngest to his uh, ping pong lesson. I think I will knit on my socks, on my French socks pattern. Uh, I have this one which I already finished the gusset uh, decreases so I knitted the heel flap and the heel turn and picked up all the gusset stitches and now I'm at a point where I finish the gusset decreases and I can just work 
uh, the foot section and you can see the pattern works uh, in the front side of the sock and in the back side of the sock is just plain stockinette so now on the second sock I'm uh, I have just picked up stitches for the for the gusset and started gusset decreasing so this is what I'm going to do now while watching Kate from the last homely house. This is the design he likes with the colors like this. And then Martha came along and she said, oh, well, we'll have to have a pattern thrown in there every now and then, just so that, and a muddly. Um, I think that one, when you look at the, let's imagine it. So I might just do that. 